What's up everybody? My name is Coalfire and welcome back to Sinner. Now, I think uh, we might have started with the wrong boss last time. I think the first one that we were supposed to do was the one that it, uh, it walked us towards at the very beginning. And uh, I don't know if Gluttony was the one that we were actually supposed to fight first. But that's okay. Yeah, cool. Oh, God. Okay. So, I did really like using the Flamberge last time, but I think I should uh, also be better about using some of my other items. But let's just uh, recall. So, this is Greed. So, what do we lose with this one again? Health and Stamina D. Okay, cool. So, yes, let's atone. All right. Let's see what's going on in this one. Oh, I'm excited to see some more of the bosses in this. Ooh, yeah. All right, so do we get, like, a, a little bit of an intro here, or...? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm, can I... Options... Camera settings. Camera speed. There we go. That's better. Perfect. Alright, so what's going on in here? Vice Talos was a healer of great renown. Not content with the mysteries of life, he resolved to conquer death. The search for immortality drove him to madness. He experimented on the dead, on himself, and the living, and found a voice that drove him to darker truths. Something that craved an immortal body and corrupted soul. Desperation spurred him on, and greed sustained him. And death found its champion at last. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Grave Lord Nito, if I'm going to be real honest. Just a little bit. Ooh, are you teleporty, bro? All right, what were my controls again? There we go. Oh, okay, totally not homing soul mass. Okay. Oh, that's a maggot. All right, so. Oh, shit. Dude's got poison. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, lordy, lord. Okay. Ow. Ow, let me, let me, let me back the fuck up here. How do I use my items again? <laughs> Not that. Okay, uh, up. Nope, down. Um, bumper. There, there it is. There it is. I remember, I remember how to use my items now. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. And then I wanted to change to this. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I have a feeling fire might be strong against. Ow. Okay. Okay, well. Oh, lordy lord. Okay, so the dude poisons you if you're too close to him for too long. I like that. Alright, so you're gonna start doing... Oh, no, you're... Ow. Okay. Let's lock on. Perfect. So I can actually stagger him a little bit. Oh, way too early. Way too early there, buddo. Okay, yep, that... Okay. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Let's, let's back off. Let's back off. Let's heal. Alright, where'd he go? There he is. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well... If this was supposed to be the first boss, I'm glad that I didn't take him first. Okay. Okay. Round two. I also am getting a hold of the controls again. Because I haven't played this in two days. Okay, are you gonna do the... Oh, shit. Okay. You really like your sp 
you really like your spells, sir. I get that that's kind of your whole deal. My... Wow. Wow. This guy doesn't really have a, a curve. He's more just a wall. <laughs> God, and his, uh, his wind-ups are a lot longer than you might think they are, so... Oh, okay, that was, that was my bad. I pushed the wrong button. Okay, yeah, he doesn't like taking more than one hit. God damn it, I keep pressing the triggers to attack, and that's not the right button. All right, and then he does his little bird flaps, and then he comes back up over here. Can I get in fast? Nope, I can't block that. Okay. Fuck me. Okay. Jesus, okay. All right, I was really greedy with that one. Let's, uh, do we want to double heal? I feel like we might want to double heal. Let's double heal. Whoa! Hi there, sir! I mean, yeah, I, I get that you want me dead, but that was just cruel. Truly cruel. Oh, it's empty. Oh, I like that there's actually an animation to that. That's cool. All right, let's back off so we... Okay. Where are you going? Where... where are you? I don't like that you spawn far away from me because... Oh, not this thing again. Can I ro Oh, roll through it! I see. I see. <laughs> get it? I... Because he's firing eyes at me! Alright, let's get away. Where'd you go? Where did you go, sir? There you are. Oh, what are you doing? What are you... what is this? Some kind of funky miasma? Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I... How do I deal with this? How do I deal with this? Um... I... I... What? Okay. Interesting. Jesus. Okay, just... just kill me. This is too rough of a start. Part of me wonders if the game could have used a, uh, like a rally system. Like Bloodborne did, where if you get hit, attacking quickly after will help you to regain some of your health. I am going to switch to my, my smaller weapon and see if being able to attack a little bit faster is going to help. Okay, at least his little, like, feather barrage doesn't hurt me. It just prevents me from attacking, so that, I feel a little better about that one. Okay. Okay. God, this guy is the king of stunlock. Ah, yep, there it goes. Okay, we'll we'll heal. Okay, so I. I managed to notice his, uh, popping up behind me there. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know how I feel about as many, like, little dudes that can, oh, that can stun lock and then damage you. There's a, there's a lot of that kind of stuff going on. I like his his melee move set though, like the the feathers that pop up after you take a couple swings at him. Those that works really well to like force you to back off. But when other things stack on top of that, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's find that perfectly, and then you're gonna start doing your okay. So, he comes up here. Do I need to lock on to him and then throw a spear at him? I can't lock on to him right now. What am I supposed to do here? 
What, like, actually, what am I supposed to do? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, that's twice now. He's just completely taken me out there. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do there. I thought I was supposed to to hit him with the the electric spears that I have, but like is there a place where I can retreat? Like onto those rooftops maybe? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Wow, those hurt. Okay, okay. I feel like I'm getting into a good rhythm in this phase. Okay. Okay, yeah, if I heal when he backs off like that, he likes to teleport a second time and then come attack me. So that's actually a good way to bait out uh, him. Oh, damn it. So, it seems like I really can't interrupt any of his spells, which seemed like something I was able to do earlier on. Okay, so he's up top there. Do I, like, run off to here and stay out in this area while he does this? Okay, can I actually attack these? No, they just, they just get to hurt me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so he's withdrawn all that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm all right. Roll off. Heal. And then that should bait him out to perfect. Nope. That was a double. Whoa. What, what double hit me there? There you are. Okay, eyeballs. Ah, uh, hit. Okay. Okay. Well, we made some progress, and I... I have to be honest that I, I disagree with the idea of waiting sections in boss fights. His teleportation is okay, um, besides the fact that he, he has a whole lot of range attacks that can end up layering on top of one another, and it doesn't seem reliable to be able to attack um, the maggots that he spawns. The eyeballs are fine, the little, like, sprite projectiles are fine and the big wave that you can roll into is good i really like that one um i'm enjoying the flow of his teleportation and the flock of birds that he brings up when you've hit him a couple of times it says hey back off but the amount of stun that there is in this and how often different attacks can layer on top of each other, especially with the eyeballs, scythe, and maggots. Uh, there's just a bunch of really frustrating moments in this fight that I'm like, that, that doesn't fit into this idea of tough but fair, which the game uh, very much advertises itself on. So, um, let's keep going. We're gonna kill this fucker. Okay, that was my bad. Rolled too early. That didn't feel like my bed. Let's heal. Did that bait him in? No.
God. Jeez, I keep rolling and he keeps hitting me. Maybe I just have these timings really poorly down, but... I feel like I'm, I'm rolling on the tell and... Oh, he's still hitting me. There we go. Okay, can't swing after that one. I gotta get out of this muck. Where is he? Okay, he's up top. So, yeah, with the maggots in this phase, how do I deal with these guys? Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is my least favorite boss fight of the entire uh, group. I really am. Okay, I'm poisoned. So, is there a way that I can cure that? Or do I just need to, like, do, do that and have it cancel out for a little bit? This is the first time we've actually been poisoned. Fucking maggots. Okay. Yes, just off me, bro. Look how quickly my health is going down. So I'm starting to think that I should be using the throwing spears to interrupt his spells, and then using that time to close the distance. Okay, that, that did nothing. Okay, so this weapon definitely has a better stun capability than the other one, which I am I'm really liking. Ow. Okay, so I feel like I just kind of need to accept that I'm going to get hit by these fucking maggots. Like, what a, really what am I supposed to do there? Okay, and then you're doing your eyeballs. Coolio. And then all of that clears and we're good. I'll come back down, bro. I'd like to be able to fight you in this game about fighting our bosses. Yeah, I love that if I predict that, then I can, uh... I have range attack too, bro, Chacho. Okay, so the fire actually burns him for a little bit. Where are you going? Where are- oh shit, you're up top again. Okay.
Okay, what? What's going on? Do I need to let let me out of here, please and thank you? Okay, so do I need to kill? Yes, I need to kill these guys. Okay, so these guys are like summoning poison on me. Interesting. Or cursing me, I guess. Okay, so let's swap back to our firebombs. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, nope. Not fine. Okay, okay. Interesting. We beat him, we beat him. It only took us 30 minutes. It's not bad. Your health increases. Okay. Cool. So, I, I already talked about a lot of what it was with him that I either disagreed with or um, felt like wasn't designed as well as it could have been. Um, obviously, in games like these, there's always going to be some fights that just don't really mesh well with your playstyle. Um, when I'm not given the option to play ranged characters, I typically stay away from using ranged items, and that was definitely his, um, you know, weakness, is that you're supposed to use the fire bombs, you're supposed to use the throwing spears in order to interrupt his spell casting and close the distance with him so that he can't get off those casts. And that's okay. It just took me a really long time to figure that out. Um, that being said, I really don't think that that fight was one that allows players to play the way they want to. That was very much a, this boss is designed to be fought this way, and if you don't fight him that way, it's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard. Um, and a lot of that has to do with his awkward swing times. They're always just a little bit longer than they look. And there were a couple times where I really did feel like I got hit while I was in the middle of a roll. Uh, and I, I think it's already been shown that we do have invincibility frames on, on this character when we roll. Um, so along with the, the grabs from Gluttony, there were a couple times where I got hit by the hilt of his scythe and it was still doing a bunch of damage and then there was the whole like stacking stagger where a whole bunch of stuff could do damage to you at the same time and just chunk huge parts of your health off and if I got poisoned I figured it was just pretty much over because with how long it lasts and how quickly it drains your health it was pretty much going to take up three healing items in order to to get past that. So, um, overall, easily my least favorite of the two fights so far. Um, Gluttony felt like there was a lot less bullshit moments where I was like, I just took three quarters of my damage and wasn't able to roll away from it kind of situations. And um, poison without having some sort of limited item to... To counteract against it, it can be can be pretty frustrating sometimes. But we're through it. We have. Whoops. Um. Well, we've done two, so we have seven bosses left. I think there's no six. I don't know how many bosses there are in this game. One, two, three, four, five left. I don't know, but we'll, we'll keep going. One boss an episode, and hopefully the next one will be more fun and less frustrating, because that one was pretty damn frustrating. 
This has been Sinner, Sacrifice for Redemption. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.